the astronauts have already completed the planned late inspection of the uh, reinforced carbon-carbon panels lining both wings and the nose cap. We're currently seeing some uh, sequential still video of the uh, orbiter boom sensor system being returned to its berth on the starboard sill of the payload bay. That task had been timelined for tomorrow, but the uh, mission control offered the astronauts the opportunity to uh, go ahead and do that today since they had completed the inspection tasks more than an hour ahead of the uh, schedule in their day. Uh, completion of this task would uh, free them up for a full day off for everybody tomorrow. The payload deployment retrieval systems officer reported that the arm is uh, is ready for latch and we're standing by for uh, it to be uh, finally secured. Then the uh, shuttle astronauts can uh, release the uh, robotic arms grip and return the uh, robot arm to its perch on the port sill. Yesterday we had our final spacewalk and it was a controversy over who was the last person to touch the, the Hubble Space Telescope. Now I was a witness to this and I was watching the whole time, right? And John, you know, we talked to him about being the last guy, but Drew, you were out there. Did it ever go through your mind that maybe while John wasn't looking, you should touch it? You know, I was thinking maybe we should have Megan take John on the, because John was on the arm, right? get him away from the telescope, he's like leaning for it and Megan wouldn't let him touch it and then Drew would go up and grab Did that ever go through your mind? Is you ever tempted to try to sneak that in? Like, you know, do a Buzz Aldrin before Neil Armstrong gets out there or something like that? Did you, you know, for this to go down in history? Did that ever occur to you maybe? I cannot tell a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you were hoping we would come up with something, huh? I tried to be the last one to touch it. But uh, it didn't work. Alas, it was not meant to be. It was not meant to be. Well, <laughs> or something happened near the end that caused us right. to revisit the telescope. <laughs> yeah. But true but had that not occurred, <laughs> I believe I would have been. I don't know. Alas, <laughs> that true. But see, here's the thing: is when I was down putting the basket in, I said to myself, I don't remember the last time I touched it. You know, because John gave it the last shake. Right. I thought, even know when it was that I touched right. it, so I said I better go touch it, right. so that I can remember. So oh, when I that's right. when I touched right. it, I knew I would remember that. You guys were looking, right? So I knew, right. right. so I knew <laughs> you would remember. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> why. Oh yeah. So right. if you would have bribed us, no, I had that thought. See, see, I see, true. Give me the high sign. Yeah. yeah, yeah if you would have, if you would have bribed us, true, you know, money. If, if, yeah, pro not even that much. But we could I, have had John, we could have put remember. John on the arm and took him away from the Megan telescope. on the arm, he's reaching out. We could have had John go away, and then you could have went up there and got the last touch like, and got... Hey, John, watch right. this. Yeah. Right, but no, I think it's, you're right, yeah, you know, it was, it was appropriate right. for John to be yeah, the... He was the last Right, guy. Uh, to be the last guy to touch. But and then Megan. But who was really the last <laughs> astronaut to have an imprint on Hubble? Who let go of the telescope? Who let go of the telescope? I, I did let go of it. It was let Megan. So Megan truly is the last astronaut to be touching the Hubble Space Telescope. That was spectacular. That was all, yeah, what did you think? What was that? What was that like? It was well, you know, it was it was just as close to us, I guess, as when we grappled it. But yeah. but bringing it up out of the latches and bringing it forward, yeah. we kind of had it was a little more leisurely, maybe, so right, we had a little right. more time to sort of look at it, and it was yeah. just huge, and it was you know really close to us. Yeah. And uh, then of course when we let go of it, and then it's just sitting there for a second until the scooter initiates a separation burn, and then it goes right over our heads, and you can kind of see everybody sort of duck right. down a little bit because it looks so close. How many pulses so was that? Ten. Ten. Ten pulses. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Boom. All in the row. Yeah, shuttle rockets. We're just moving around. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was a little bit, I was a little stressed out. You guys are doing all the work, and I was just sitting there yeah. stressing out watching it. It's a big telescope coming it's right really overhead. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool. But it wasn't as stressful as the rendezvous, though. Going into the first, the ungrapple wasn't like the, the grab the grapple. You know, it's uh, funny because the, the grapple was a lot more stressful in training than it was for real. You know? uh, and, uh, I think we trained it so much yeah. that it was actually really smooth, and we just didn't train deploy as many times. And so I did have a little bit more feeling of, okay, we got to get everything right, just because we didn't we don't train that as much because of the it's kind of not maybe as I so it still had a heightened awareness, I guess. Bad for playback. Uh, well, it was, it was a good day, though. It all went well. 
Okay, with you, we'll just wait till the 417 time. The telescope is on yeah, its that, way. That sounds good. We're still configuring it's ourselves. It's a little sad to see it go, but very happy to see okay. it go in good sounds shape. Okay, like we'll be in yeah. Thanks. Nice. Great job. I'm just happy we, uh, we achieved all the objectives. You know, I just right. I still can't believe it. We went out there. And, and we regulate just for your, uh, every single task that for your planning purposes. It sounds like we only need about a minute right. from yeah. each of those cameras. Okay, right. thanks, Dex. Well, thanks very much, guys. Wait, 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 wait. What, go ahead, what? I gotta do a flip for my mom. All right, do a flip for right. Megan's mom. Who are you doing your flip for, Drew? You gotta pick somebody. Megan's doing it for her mom. What are you gonna do? For my kids. For your kids, go ahead. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is awesome. Don't try this at home, because you'll land right on your head. That's great. Thanks, guys. See you, Megan. All right. Craig Johnson, our pilot. Mike Good. Our uh, MS-1 guy here, mission specialist number one, which, you know, whatever. That's anyway, right, so Mike, Mike, Mike and Greg, what's your question? Mike and Greg, Greg, you know, just a moment ago, we were sitting here having dinner, and you said you were sad, sad and you didn't tell us why. So will you tell the viewers of NASA television, however many there may be, why are you sad? Well, I see my crewmates, and they want to know why. They want to know why I'm sad, because usually I'm not sad. No, never no sad he's not sad why at all. Sad, he's never <laughs> sad, right, Megan? Never sad. Never Ray sad at all. No. So why would you? He's our Ray J of sunshine. He's, right. What does it say? What? He's our Ray J of sunshine. Ray J of sunshine. So how can? Why are you sad? Because we had to say goodbye to Mr. Hubble. Oh. We had to say goodbye. And, and that's that makes a you bit sad. sad. All right. And then we're our space flight's gonna end, even though we want to see our families, yeah, right, see right. all the children, right. the parents. But the space flight's gonna end because we had to let Hubble go. So right. A little sad. So a little sad. Coming back. Right. Getting on the step. Right. Okay. But you were pretty busy today too. You had a lot of action. I was busy. I was in the commander seat. Yes. And. Uh, Trying to run the checklist. You kind of running the show up there. There was a lot kind going of on. Working out commands. Right, because we had, a, as you said, we had to say goodbye to the telescope. So maybe it's good that you were busy barking out commands, or else you might have started getting right. a little misty. I, maybe. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good. So it's wow. good you had to, you know, you had to keep everyone in line. You right couldn't afford down, to get. I kept it down. I had a few. Right. Excellent. Well, you did a great job of handling on that. There was a lot of action. And Mike. You and I today had to dress up like it was going to be a spacewalk, right? Excuse what, me, I'm finishing my dinner. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. You, you done yet? What are you eating? No, uh, all you kids out there eat your vegetables. I mean